Hey everybody, it's Pastor Darren. I hope you're doing well and I hope your week is going great. It is the week of August 11th. I wanted to take some time this week to reintroduce something to you. There were some who weren't able to be at church this past Sunday, August 11th, and I wanted to take some time to make this little short video to kind of recap the message from Sunday. If you'll recall, if you were present, we were in Romans chapter 12, verses 1 to 8 was our focal passage, but we really focused on Romans 12, 1. Let me read that again for you, and then I'm going to talk a little bit about what I want you to do with that verse of Scripture this week. Paul says to the church at Rome, I appeal to you, therefore, brothers, by the mercies of God, to present your bodies as a living sacrifice holy and acceptable to God, which is your spiritual worship. This is a really important passage, not only in the Bible, but especially in the book of Romans. As Paul is transitioning here from the first 11 chapters, where he spends much time teaching and developing the doctrine of salvation, the doctrine of justification by faith, the doctrine of God's sovereignty in redeeming those who will be saved. Critical, critical teaching on salvation in the first 11 chapters of Romans. But Paul transitions at chapter 12 from the teaching to the practical aspects of how does this truth work itself out in our lives? How are we as Christians to live day to day in our relationships as individuals in the light of the truths that Paul has just shared in the first 11 chapters. And of course the first instruction that he gives is that we are to present our bodies as a living sacrifice. And I think it's very interesting, I tried to point out how Paul words that. He's speaking to the whole church and he says, present your bodies, plural, speaking to the group, as a single living sacrifice. I think this is very critical for us as a church, for any church, to understand Paul's meaning here. Paul is not just concerned about individual Christians doing things, making changes in their own lives in order to be better individual Christians. As Americans, I think we're very prone to take everything that's in the Bible and interpret it on a me-centered, individualistic basis. But Paul wants to guard against this. This perhaps was a problem even in the church of Rome. And Paul says, no, I appeal to you brothers, plural, the group, to present your bodies, plural, as a single one sacrifice, a living sacrifice to God. For this is your spiritual worship. I introduced something on Sunday it's called the takeaway. And what it is, just this little piece of paper about the size of a bookmark. You could use it as a bookmark. And what this does is it presents the key passage, the key verse that we looked at for that particular Sunday. Of course, this Sunday was Romans 12:1, And then it asks some questions. The overall question this week with the takeaway is, how do you sense God calling you to apply this text in your life. And some follow-up questions to that, there were two of them. The first one is, I want you to take some time this week and ask yourself the question. Look at your schedule, look at your priorities, look at your budget. What are you doing to serve the church, the whole church body, so that the whole church becomes a more holy and acceptable, pleasing, living sacrifice to God. What are you as an individual Christian doing to make a contribution to the church, not just in terms of finance, but in terms of your time and your talents, to make the church a more holy and acceptable sacrifice to God? Many of us as Christians, we want to, we want to look at our own lives and we want to notice things about our own lives that need changing, bad habits that need dropped, good habits that need to be developed. That, those are important things to think about. It's not that Paul doesn't want the Roman Christians to 
to take a deep look at their own lives as individuals, but what he really wants them to do is to look at their lives as individuals in the light of the whole body of Christ and to see themselves not just as isolated individual Christians, but as part of a matrix of gifted individuals who make up this body of Christ. So the question number one is, what are you doing to serve the church? What's your contribution to the whole church so that the whole church is built up as a holy, acceptable, living sacrifice to God? The second question is this. Is that contribution that you're currently making or that you're thinking about making really a sacrifice? Or is it simply something that fits into your schedule? Is it something that fits into your budget? You see, the end game for Romans 12.1 is what? It's worship. This, Paul says, is your spiritual worship. And I believe it's true that if we're not making a sacrifice, we're not truly and fully worshiping God as individuals, and therefore the church as a whole is going to be worshiping God less, glorifying Christ less than it could be. And so I want to ask you, take some time to think about these questions. What contribution are you making? What contribution should you be making? What sacrifices should you be making so that you can build up the body of Christ? And is that contribution you're making or thinking about making really a sacrifice or does it simply just fit into your life? Give some thought to this this week and I want to challenge a few of you to come on Sunday and be ready to share what God has said to you through this passage of Scripture and what God has impressed upon your heart with the rest of the church this Sunday. Be bold. Make a statement. Be honest. Be transparent about what God is doing in your life and encourage your brothers and sisters. This Sunday, we'll be meeting at the Lee Lydic Park, or also known as the Perry Village Park on Call Road, same time, 10 o'clock to 11.15, and I hope you'll be able to join us, bring a lawn chair, bring an umbrella, and prepare your hearts for a great time of worship with your church family. We'll see you this Sunday at 10 at the park. God bless you.